What is going on, everyone? Badger here. Try to like and sub, and let's get into this Assassin's Creed Shadows trailer making history and not the fictional type that it wishes it was. The most disliked trailer of all time. I mean, obviously, not of all time for all trailers, but for the Assassin's Creed franchise, it is the most disliked. And uh, yeah, oof, Assassin's Creed Shadows <laughs> over. 600,000 dislikes. We can see it right here. Over 600,000 dislikes to uh, not even 300,000 upvotes. Uh, 7.2 million views in five days. So the people have spoken. Yeah, not good. Not good. Uh, we also saw a 15% stock uh, drop like the same day that this trailer came out. So as a point of comparison, the Assassin's Creed Mirage cinematic world premiere has 8.7 million views since it was released back in September 2022 and only has 9,000, 7,000 dislikes compared to 229,000 likes. Uh, yeah, by the way, I'm going back and playing that finally. Oof, it's a slog. It's a slog. Looking back even further into Assassin's Creed Valhalla, the official premiere trailer was re released. Uh, 9.4 million views since it debuted on April 30th, 2020. Racked up 325,000 likes and received 15, 15 dislikes. Oh, thousand, 15,000 dislikes. I was going to say, there's no way there's just 15. But still, 15,000 dislikes compared to 300,000 likes. You know, uh, go right on to Assassin's Creed Odyssey, 6.8 million views, 74,000 likes to 8,000 dislikes. You getting a trend here? Oh, hey, look, the Assassin's Creed set in Africa, uh, 6.8 million views received 89,000 likes to 10,000 dislikes. So obviously this is not a one-off. This is a visceral reaction and it's because it's done in 2024 and everyone can see why you chose Yusuke, why you're making a thing out of this. It's not because for any good reason. And I don't think anyone has any good interpretations left. The game is receiving significant pushback for featuring Yusuke, a historical figure of African descent in the game that is set in Japan rather than a male Japanese samurai. Two of the top comments on the trailer translated from Japanese read European and American game companies. Companies. In order to avoid racial discrimination, black characters must be included in games to ensure the diversity of characters and subvert stereotypes. The same European and American game companies, we decided to put a black samurai in a game with a Japanese background. His mission is to kill various Asians. Yeah, no, no. There's a huge hypocrisy, but it really is just the fact that people understand now that this was not done for good uh, intention. And so, yeah, and of course, all the Japanese people are being called racist uh, for pointing this out. The game's associative narrative director, Brooke Davies, did note in the subsequent trailer, focusing on Yusuke and the game's other protagonist, Neo, uh, the historical character of Yusuke presented a really exciting opportunity for the narrative team We uh, to capitalize on ESG. Yeah. We approached it in the same way that so much of the work is done in Assassin's Creed, which is really in terms of research and history first. She then admitted not a lot is known about him, but what we did know or we did know is that he arrived in japan in 1579 right when our game starts and that he had relationships with some of the most interesting people in our setting so i want to point out that this and someone has said this also that this would not have been taken the way it was had it not been current time and uh, Correct. Had this been just uh, 10 years ago, had this been during the time of Black Flag, uh, there would not be an issue. And I want to showcase, uh, showcase that theory by showing you this trailer for Assassin's Creed Freedom Cry. This stars Adewale, who is the Black Quartermaster, the second in command, basically, of Edward Kenway in Black Flag. And uh, first, if you just look at the comments, the top ones are uh, Assassin's Creed Black Swag, milk that cow ubisoft milk nothing about racism or that you having a black protagonist uh got this as a standalone during a steam sale for like four bucks the story is short but the protagonist is badass so not one comment here pretty cool for anyone that already uh played the dlc version it was great so not a damn thing of anything it's just about ubisoft milking it but nothing about the character being black and then let's see let's see by the way 1.8 this is ubisoft north america 10 years ago 100 
thousand views, 103,000 views, 91 downvotes to one almost not even 2,000 likes. So no one gave a shit. No one saying anything about a black character. Look at this. Imagine this. Chains I was enough. born into slavery, deprived of any right, of any faith. I was sold, traded for labor. Now, I don't want to react to this whole thing just in case, but this just goes to show you, I mean, uh-huh. Yeah, all right. The Ada Wale badass. Now, had this been done with good intentions, a Yusuke DLC or expansion pack would have probably been met with the same amount of interest and or wouldn't have received the hate that it did, but it is its current day. And everyone knows the reason they did it. And it is not because he's an interesting character that just happened to arrive at the same time. No, it's because he's black and because you knew it would piss everyone off and you knew it would, would impress your corporate ESG masters. So, yeah, there's my evidence. This the, this trailer and the reaction to this compared to today is, is simply because people understand. They can smell it. Pattern recognition. They know why you did it. And it's not with any good intention. Uh, yeah. Let me know what you think of this. Make sure to like, share, and sub. If you have done that, thank you. If you're going to do that, thank you. And Well. Bye.